What's up everybody, OGP back with you for another video. We are at the Oasis Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, the infamous Oasis Hotel, where legendary poker player Stu Unger died, and actor David Strickland from Suddenly Susan TV show hung himself. We rented room number six for the night. I'm here with my main man, the anonymous booze, the Mr. Matt Matt, and uh, we are going to go in. We have not been in this room yet. We just got the key right now. We just checked in at the front desk. We're going to walk into room number six where Stu Unger died for the first time right now and see if we feel. I've seen videos where people have said they feel vibes or fucking like weight on their chest or like a heaviness in the room. Let's go in and see. Here we go. Okay, that's not working, so maybe it's just this. The door where Stu Unger walked in through the last time. Before he died, here we go. I smell weed. Definitely, uh, the it's musty air. It's an old hotel. Uh, not really feeling weird vibes or anything, but it definitely has an old rundown hotel kind of feel. But uh, let's take a look around. I believe Stu Unger's body was found on the floor right over here, so we'll go into this area. Right over here. And, and now, and I'll be, I'm gonna be completely honest right here. I don't know if it's what's going on because where we're at i don't know if it's a little bit of a hangover <laughs> or what but um something does feel different right here than it does over there I, I like i feel heavier the gravity feels heavier over here like i'm not even kidding this is it's a different vibe right here than it was outside or over by the door it, that's weird. That is that is truly weird. I feel we, it, it's different. Something is different over here. Just in, I'm gonna walk back over there. Yeah, it feels like I'm walking downhill right here. Uh, and I don't know if that's maybe there's something you know whatever. But I feel you know this is like okay normal. There is definitely a weight over here. It, it's weird. It is weird. And maybe just an enclosed space. Or whatever you know the air is kind of like stagnant back here or something maybe it's something like that I'm not ready to say there's a ghost but there's a weird vibe could be all up here 100% could be all up here but there's a weird vibe right here but maybe just I mean knowing you know if, if he died right here this is where he was found like that that could have something to do with it but uh, let's take we'll go take a look in the bathroom here the last bathroom Stu Unger probably ever used right here Definitely not fancy. And look at the walls, like, like kind of bulging out and everything. I wonder if there's, you know, like pipes broken or leaking or whatever, but it's just, it's an old run down beat up motel. And I, I believe this was probably put in after. This looks new. This doesn't look like 1998, but I mean, you know, these walls and everything, it's still right where Stu Unger died. It's very trippy. It's a weird feeling being right here. But I'm very much looking forward to what we're going to do tonight. We get out of this little echoey bathroom here. We're going to be here all night tonight. We're going to set up these cameras in different areas. We're going to, which you've already seen. If you haven't, I'll put a link down below. We're going to be live streaming from this room tonight to see if we can experience or encounter anything. So I'm very much looking forward to spending hours in this room to see if we experience or feel anything that makes us go, mm, that's, that's, that's weird, that's paranormal or something like that. So we're gonna spend the night here. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And now we'll tell you a little bit about when we checked in, the woman at the front desk said that apparently Stu Unger checked in, he was with what appeared to be a prostitute at the time. They found him dead, but she was had disappeared. 
um, a bunch of his money had been missing and so um, or money that he was given to be in the World Series of Poker or something was missing so maybe she robbed him whatever uh, he might have OD'd and then she just took off with his money who knows what happened with that but we'll get more into that later as we're just hanging out here for right now I just want to mention she at the front desk had told us about this television remote here so this is something we'll definitely look in tonight uh, look into and that is there have been guests that have said that this remote if you are watching something that Stu Unger does not like that this remote would fall off the top of the TV so that's something we'll test out tonight we'll, we'll have the remote up here we'll put on a show I don't know. We'll find something and guess what we think Stu Unger might not Probably like. be a reality show. He'll throw it right off. Yeah, we'll put the Kardashians on. Boom, <laughs> knock it down. So, uh, or maybe we'll put on a World Series of Poker and have like Doyle Brunson on or something like that. Some, one, of, one of his, uh, uh, you know, guys he used to play against or something. But whatever we find on TV, we'll have that on tonight. And for a while, we will set the cameras up and we'll just let them go. And we're going to leave the room and just see what happens when we come back. And then for a while, we'll be here and we'll read stories about Stu Unger and uh, try and learn more about the room. And we'll do all that for you in just a little while. But for now, here we are at the Oasis Hotel. Stu Unger died here right across the way. David Strickland died here in Las Vegas, Nevada, right on Las Vegas Boulevard, on the Las Vegas Strip, just north of the stratosphere. I'm, I've, this has been like an item I've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm like really happy I'm able to be here with Matt and do this tonight it's going to be a lot of fun hopefully we see something but there's no guarantees right so uh with that being said let's do some ghost hunting i've got the uh what do you call these emf thing here and we're going to see if we get any readings right now and then maybe if it's different later so i'm going to walk around the room kind of really slowly with this and see how it goes starting right over here in the corner here we go Firing it up. We're already getting a reading. Let's see. Huh. I turned this on at home and it didn't light up at all. Okay, over by the TV it went off. Now it's coming back on. Now it's flickering right over here by this chair. And now it's gone. Uh, okay. All right. Let's walk into the bathroom. The dangling is my key. Sorry about that. We'll leave the lights off so we don't have any extra electricity flowing in here or anything. So there's, there's definitely some different electromagnetic vibes throughout this hotel room. See, like back to straight solid right here. And by the TV, it changed. Interesting. All right, well, that's what we've got. That's what you saw. We'll look and see if the readings are different later tonight in this room. It is now about nine o'clock at night. We're gonna go live in just a little while. So we're gonna get ready to go set up for that. But you can see the sun's gone down. You can hear the people screaming on the big shot up there on top of the stratosphere. We're that close to it. So this, I mean, this is a pretty cool location. The people around here are sketchy as hell, but I'm digging the vibe of like the hotel grounds here. Look at the, all like the palm trees and everything. I, I feel like we drove into kind of like Gilligan's Island area or something here with all the palm, palm trees, like kind of Hawaiian-ish. Of course, now we got a helicopter coming over. Paparazzi, uh, what, are you, what are you gonna do? They're looking for me, what are you gonna do? But uh, anyways, though, no, we're about to get into it. We're gonna do some ghost hunting in that room. And we may kind of 
take and, and walk over here near room 20 a little bit later on just to kind of uh, see the vibe over there too. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get in there or not, but we might try. But for now, let's get inside that room and find some ghosts. Wow, that's the first time we've ever seen like orange other than when you pointed at the yes. thing. Yeah, that's, that's weird. What in... Dude, I don't know if Stu Unger's head was on this side or his head was over there. This is where Stu Unger's body was on the ground. Look at those fucking numbers. Dude, we were at a four over there. It's at a 66 now. Look at that. Over there, not looking that way, it's not as strong. Right here, the energy in this area is off the charts. That's, dude, that is nuts. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. Yeah, it's, it's hard, hard to read. Yeah, hard to read on there. Yeah. But it is, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my phone. I'm gonna see if I can take a picture of these readings. That's nuts, dude. We have not gotten that to go to orange. Okay, so I'm gonna do recording for the other video right here. You can see there's Matt recording as we're talking about this. If you go back to the live stream at 11.39 at night on the live stream, here we are with these readings 65 61 63 and that lighting up orange on a carpet on a, on the ground with nothing around on the spot where Stu Unger died let me show you right here is where they found his body right here and over just past Matt would have been like by the bathroom door in this area here is where his body was right by these dude I, I'm impressed I am very curious about this and I'll say, this doesn't sell me. This doesn't say like, okay, there's a ghost in here or there's a spirit, there's a presence. But this is very interesting because nowhere else in the room do we get numbers like this aside from either, I don't know if his head was here or over there, but head or feet or something, part of his body was in this area when he died. Could have been, yeah. That's, that's nuts. But here we are, this camera's still rolling. It's hot, this camera's smoking from recording for so long now. Oh, really? Hopefully the footage is still turning out. Well, I gotta get this way so I get some light so you can see me. But uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. So room six is over there. We've left our room and now we're over here by room 20 and looking inside the window. There's nobody staying here so I'm gonna be a little peeper right now. Uh, way up high, you can see, if you look up toward the top of the shot there, the pole where, where um, David Strickland hung himself, right there in this room. And they actually have art on the wall in this room. That's very interesting. But uh, in this room, it just it looks a little bit nicer than room six. Very interesting. But that is where David Strickland took his own life, right there. Very sad. Very interesting to see. And there's my shadows all over the place. Maybe one day we'll come back and see about David Strickland's room here. Well, we're heading out now. Thank you very much for watching. This was an interesting hotel. Definitely interesting to check out. And being here knowing one person took their life in that room and then over there in room six, another person passed away. Just crazy, crazy notion you know thought of thinking that that happened right here i mean people die everywhere but when you know and they're celebrities it's just very interesting how their lives came to a close right here and with that being said thank you very much for watching appreciate all of you hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh let me know down below thoughts places i should go check out that you think may be haunted or places uh you know that we should just check out in general because I'm a live streaming son of a gun now, but and if you haven't, check out the live stream from the other night, links down below. You can see all like three and a half hours of us in the room where Stu Hunger died. The link is down below for that, check it out. Hope you enjoyed that video as well as this one. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next time.